Okay, welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. I'm going to try getting out of the uh, wind here a little bit. So we're out here with the Solo again, so we've discovered a couple things with the, with the camera. So when you plug in the HDMI, it goes into HDMI mode and leaves recording mode, and then after so long it just turns itself off. So you cannot connect the HDMI and have it record, which is really a bummer. So I don't know how I'm going to work around this, but uh, I'll figure out something. So I'm going to go ahead, take it up for a flight, and uh, just see what it does. So I'm going to go ahead. I've got 12 satellites. I've checked hover. I'm going to arm the motors, make sure I'm clear. And I'm going to take it up. Now I do have the camera running in uh, standard recording mode. So I'm just going to kind of take this out and shoot some shoot some 360 video or 270 video just kind of natively as uh, this thing flies out. So I'm just going to kind of fly it out line of sight and towards that buoy and just kind of take it out there and capture some video as it's headed out and just kind of Take it out to that buoy and I want to take it up a little bit so I don't hit it. I want to take it up a little bit more and the the one thing though is I don't seem to have perspective on this. Uh, I want to go up a little bit more I don't know how to get a map on here or something showing me my indication without the video. So, uh, so I'm out there probably, oh, going at about 400 meters. I can still see it. And so I'm going to yaw it around. And uh, as I turn to bird, it's starting to complain a little bit about signal strength. I'm just kind of yawning it around. So it's definitely somewhat sensitive to orientation. Because, uh, yeah, it turns red if I turn it to a certain uh, direction. And so I want to take it up a little bit more because I'm only up about 30, 40 feet. So I want to take this up. Um, and again, I'm not sure how I find my orientation. So my flight battery is there. Um, let's see. Nope, it's counting up. Let's turn it a little bit more. Okay, that seems to be coming back in towards me. So it's counting down. So I can see it coming back in. Uh, I want to turn it a little bit. I think it's uh, coming up. I want to make sure it's turning a little bit more. I want to fly. I'm flying line of sight here. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. Okay, I think that's coming back towards me. I really have to... I understand there's another application, Solex or something out there. Um, which is a bit better. Okay. And... And I'm just making sure I'm bringing it back in towards me. So let's kick it up and let's see how fast I can bring it back. Well, it's definitely coming back in towards me, but way up beach. And...
Okay, I think that's a little bit better. Yeah, I definitely need to figure out something where I have an arrow where I can uh, determine which way it's heading. Now, now that's heading away from me, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stick it, but we'll bring it back. Cause at least this is going down. Cause at least it's holding this pad in the air where it's at, so I'm going backwards now. I'm gonna have to figure out this application a little bit more, especially getting out there with no FPV. So, you know, because the FPV, you can, I can get the orientation, I can see land and head it back towards the land. And so I'm just making sure everything's clear around me with people. And yep, it's coming back. So it's facing away from me, but I'm, I'm seeing that it's counting down and coming back as it's counting down. I'm down to about 50% battery. The battery life seems to be pretty good on this guy. So, uh, the one thing is, is though, I have to keep the antennas pointed at it. Uh, but, um, 500 meters seem to be about its maximum. Uh, I started losing controller signal at about 500 meters, so. Uh, what's that, about 1,500 feet? I'm not sure how Drone Worship got almost a mile out of it. Um, I'm going to have to do some checking. and Maybe it's some of the settings I have to change. So here it comes back in. I tell you, though, this thing is rock solid. This is my second flight with it. And once I get the application figured out, uh, I think this thing will be phenomenal. So here it is. So I was able to bring it back. Um... So I kind of want to see if there's anything in the application settings. So camera settings, video, I don't have anything there. Um, so I want to bring this back over top of me. And you can probably hear it overhead. See it up there? I want to see some things so battery so I got statistics and I got solo link vehicle connected settings flight school support fly solo I can go here I can do different things but uh, save shots I don't want to I want to fly it let's see so if I tap that I thought I thought when I was playing around with it there was some sort of map function But I want to bring this down. I mean, look at that. Look at how rock solid that thing is sitting. That is just phenomenal. And there's, there's a bit of a wind. I don't want to get too close to it in case it goes crazy. I mean, because that's a pretty big copter and it's about face level. So, uh, again, I'm down to about 39% on battery. But just look how stable. I'm, I'm super impressed. I think I'm going to order a second one of these. Um, I just need to figure out the application part. So you can see the battery. Still real good battery life. And I like the cost of the batteries too versus DJI. Uh, you know, basically 48 bucks for a battery. You know, and again, it's is. uh... You know, if I just take this out, you know, we'll get some 360 footage or 270, whatever you want to call it. And so we're just taking it out and then we'll bring it back. Clear the fence. Let's take it down that way. In uh, at least in this mode, it's not too crazy fast, which I actually like. Because I'll fly this back around. And uh, again, I got this full stick forward.
I tell you, somebody quite a while ago said I should get one of these on the channel, and I wish I had to listen to them. Because this, again, is phenomenal. And I'm just kind of taking it out, you know. I'm sorry, this is probably not too overly interesting versus some of maybe some of my other ones. But I'm just trying to kind of get a feel for it and kind of let you guys know what you should expect, um, you know, to get a feel for it, too. And, uh, wow. So I'm at uh, about 29% flight battery. I've got 12 satellites. Satellites have not been a problem. Satellites have not been a problem, so that's been good. My controller battery, I'm up to 13 now. I just wish I could figure out a little bit more about this app or get something where I had a directional indicator pointing which way, which way I need to be pointing for home because when I got out there, I didn't know where to go. And I don't know if you can see the screen. There's not a lot of glare on it. So there's nothing here that really indicates um, anything about direction. Again, I thought there was a map. I try to move down. Here's something. What happens if I push location? Uh, close. Yeah, it's starting to complain about flight battery at 25%. So I'm going to land it. And again, as you saw sort of in the first video, I mean, it is actually pretty specific on landing. Boom, on that cover. I could do that with the up air. Maybe the Phantom I probably could, but I tell you what, solo battery too low for flight, please charge. So, hey, I gotta work, a, work out a few bugs. Uh, we definitely came to an understanding of the HDMI. Unfortunately, it's not gonna work like I had hoped it was going to work, so back to the drawing board. Um, this guy is definitely big enough to carry two cameras, so if I gotta put two cameras on it, I think that's okay, I can get away with that. Uh, but again, I'm really geeked about this. So big thumbs up on the Solo. I really like this so far. Two flights and uh, seems to be a great bird so far. So thumbs up to Drone Worship for talking me into this. Well, he really didn't talk me into it, but I was watching his channel and he had nothing but good things to say and he's usually pretty straightforward. So anyways, let me know what you guys are thinking about for lunch. We'll catch you in the next video and we'll be flying something. So cheers, see you then.